Hey there, this is video F8 and we are looking at simple interest and this is practice solving for N. As always, I encourage you to do this on your own. Uh, check the answer key and then if there's issues, come back and see what's going on. But I'm going to assume you've already done that and maybe there was a little bit of an issue or, or maybe I've made a mistake, in which case feel free to let me know and that scores you some bonus points. All right, Skippy inherited money from his grandpa and invested at 3.8%. Uh, oh, I know what's going on with this question. I was trying to like, how many different ways can I ask the same question? So this is the money you got from grandpa. This is what grandpa invested. And there's the percent. How long was the money earning interest? Okay, is that just grammar, grammatically? English-wise sounds a little bit weird, but I think it's okay. So A, P, I, N. All right, how long? So don't know. Interest rate, 3.8%, so 3.8. Oops, 500 equals 0 0.038. Grandpa invested, so what the person invests at the beginning is the principal. And the amount at the end is the accrued amount, or my brain just always says A for amount at the end. 75 E. All right, let's plug this into our formula. So 75, whoopsies, 75 A. Plus 300 times 0 0.038 times n, 75.85. I almost did it. My brain wanted, to, oh, look, there's 4,800 and another 4,800. Let's just put those together. Nay, nay, my friends. You need to pay attention and look for those variables. We're going to multiply that through first. 4800 times 0 0.038. And that's going to be plus 182.4. And now let's subtract. So 75.85 minus. 4,800 equal to 2,785, which is 182.40 n divided by 182.40 divided by 182.40. And for those of you that are yelling at me, if you have met experts or there, it didn't matter. But my brain's just going, it's money, two different places. All right, so that's 15.268. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't say how long to, uh, or how to round that. So I'm going to go 15.3 years. And because I didn't tell you how to round it, this answer was fine, this answer was fine. 15 years would be fine. 15.2 would not be fine because that's not rounding factor. Now, how much interest was earned? Well, even if you can't do the rest of the question, you could do that because you know what? At the end, there was 75.85. And at the beginning, there was 4,800. And the difference between that, 75, and minus 4,800, 2785. And I know 
I know that answer was right there. Right. But I would rather redo my question for the extra, what, two seconds, five seconds that it took, and make sure these match. Then just grab that answer and use it there and then find out that I screwed up up there and then I am compounding my problem. Okay, let's keep going. Emma dreams of opening a miniature donkey farm. She has $6,800 saved up. How long will it take to save $10,000 if it is 6% interest per year? Well, I think you already know it's going to take a while because simple interest does not increase very fast. All right, let's see. 6,800, that's what she started with. She wants 10,000. My interest is 6.8, 5 by 100, 0 0.06. So A is equal to G. Again, this will get more exciting when we have more and more formula. Plug it in. Plus plug it in. Six point zero point zero six eight times N. Times zero six eight. Must that Eight hundred times point zero six eight. Four sixty two point four n minus sixty hundred. Ten thousand minus sixty-eight hundred. There's two hundred dollars left. Four six two point n. Now we divide. Four six two point four. All right, so six point nine two years and in case you're wondering, there is no logical reason why I make that fifteen point three and I rounded that to that with no um, instructions on how to round. Whatever you give me, it's just fine as long as you remember to round. So how much longer will it take 3690 to grow at 3.4 as compared to you? Oh, okay, tricky question. So we have a principle, we have an amount that we're starting with, and we have an amount we're ending with. So we have two percents. One of those sneaky questions that looks really simple, but actually is a lot of work. Because what you have to do is you do the question once with 3.4, and then you repeat the question with 5, and then you subtract the answers to get how much longer. Got that? So you might want to pause it, do it, now that I kind of gave you the hint on how to make it work. Um, I don't think there's ever a time where you're going to be subtracting percents. Not that I can think of. All right. So, flip my page. And we'll do 3.4% over here. So, A, T, I, N. All right. So, we're ending up with 4250. And we started with 36.90. And my interest is 3.4 divided by 100, 0 0.034. And we don't know. 
So A is equal to plus B of A. Plus B to 50 is equal to 3690. I should have more room. Times 0 0.034. And then thirty six ninety minus thirty six ninety times point zero four one twenty five point six. Now let's subtract thirty six ninety. I should learn to write here. There's more room in between. Whoopsie. Okay. Minus 3690. So that's 560. Is equal to, whoopsie, what size is that? Not mine. It should be plus 125.46n. And divide that by 125.46. Four point four six. There's uh, on this side, we're going to do the five percent. So A is still going to be forty two fifty. T is still going to be thirty six ninety. My interest rate now is going to be five percent. So 3.05 and n is equal to normal. So a is equal to p plus p i n. Almost the exact same question, except for that little change. Sorry, that's getting very squishy. I'm going to move over here so I can write bigger. All right, so 42.50 is equal to 36.90 plus 36.90 times 0.05 this time. 184.5 and now subtract 36.90. Subtract 36.90. 32.50 minus 36.90 is 560. That looks familiar. Yeah. Really close to last time. That makes sense. Divide by one eighty four point five three point zero four. All right, no. Okay, so I got three five. So I mean, that five makes that one. So three go up by one. And if I did two decimal places, let's see. I'm sure have somebody yelling at me so that I could see when you know I don't bother showing you the screen. I worked off the screen. 4.46, 3.04. Now, your final answer is 4.46 minus, because how much longer? 3.04. I have no idea what that answer is. 4.46 minus 3.04. 1.42 years. And remember to put the decimal in there. And there we go. That is the end of the video.